Hey there folks, Connecting Dots 1 here and 2 now. Uh, so you may have heard my, I've been locked out of my YouTube channel. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta and um, I'm, uh, I've got a friend of a subscriber who's uh, helping me out in a great uh, way here. Uh, he's working on my vehicle as I mentioned in my previous video. Uh, my brakes went on me and uh, I uh, had to have them repaired. So what I'm doing here is a second test of the rainfall that took place here in uh, Alberta, just as I was picking the automotive parts up, uh, a little storm went by and uh, gave us a little sprinkle. So I decided that uh, why not do another test here. So I've got everything set up. He's down there. Oh, he's not there now. He was there. Oh, he's over here now. Okay, so um, yeah, I've got everything set up here. Here's a Geiger counter sitting on that piece of plastic. That is mm -hmm. your normal background radiation of 0.22. Mm -hmm. uh, 0.24 is, a, again, that's normal. It's a mm -hmm. high, but uh, okay, so I'm gonna move it over here and put the sample down. Yeah. Put the plastic to protect my Geiger counter. Put the Geiger counter on top and let's see what happens. I see a lot of, there we go high radiation level and as I mentioned before you have to wait for that green bar mm -hmm. to go cycle through at least five cycles to find out what the true levels are. Mm -hmm. It starts off a little low yeah. and point 0.9. Point nine. Yeah, and 0.24 is uh, normal high? Uh, 0.24 is your normal high, yes. Yeah, high radiation background. So this, nice. this is this, this is high. <laughs> and I mentioned before at 0.50 it's uh, yeah. equal to one or one tenth of a dental x-ray mm -hmm. and one microsievert is equal to two tenths. Mm -hmm. So this um, pretty close to one. And you just saw there I just wiped down a little section of the yeah. windshield here. Yeah. A little bit on the fenders. <clears throat> it's very concerning. So Edmonton, Alberta. Seen so high levels you're of radiation. Traveling all over? I'm traveling all over Canada. Yeah. I'm making a video, by the way, right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to upload this, so people are going to hear your comments and what you've been saying. Yeah. If you don't mind, if it's okay with you. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so like I said, Edmonton, Alberta is where I am. July 18th today. Uh, sorry, July 19th, and uh, yeah, a little sprinkle and high levels of radiation. I can move it around here a little bit. See if we get a little something different. I mean, I did wipe down the whole area, and as I mentioned before, uh, the grills here is where the tube sits on the Geiger counter, so it'll basically pick up anything uh, in its vicinity, and as you can tell, it's picking up. <clears throat> this is not good. And uh, I've mentioned before, because uh, there was uh, someone that said, oh, well, I, didn't, I got a soaked Geiger counter, and I didn't pick up any radiation in rain in Vancouver. Folks, rain has no boundaries. Rain will travel from one province to another. And since it travels from the west going eastward, I feel safe in saying that, uh, oh, there's one microsievert. Mm -hmm. That's equal to two tenths of a, of a dental x ray. Uh, what was it in Lake Louise when you were there? 1.66. Uh -huh. So that would be, uh, sorry, uh, I said two tenths of a dental x ray in Lake Louise. That would actually be three tenths of a dental x ray in Lake Louise. Oh, guess what? We're at 1.14. She's climbing. Starting to glow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish it was just as simple as us glowing, but unfortunately it's not. Okay, I mentioned there, folks, before that this uh, bar at the top, this graph, keeps track of the radiation uh, that it picks up during a one-minute uh, timeline. As you can tell, the graph is continuously moving from the uh, right over to the left. The red spikes are uh, obviously the high waves of radiation, and the yellow is the... Uh, well, still high, the high dangerous levels, but you, you know, you don't want to see a lot of reds. You don't want to see yellow either. Uh, as it stands right now, this is equal to uh, two tenths of a dental X-ray. And I'll remind folks that uh, these Geiger counters only pick up certain isotope, radioactive isotopes. They don't pick them all up. Uh, what we have coming out of Fukushima, there are hundreds of radioactive uh, isotopes spewing out of there, and they all attack the body in different ways. Uh, for example, the iodine-131 will give you thyroid cancer. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, cobalt-60 gives you um, leukemia. 
Anyways, they, they give you different, they attack the body in different ways. And the most, um, the isotopes that are the, the most dangerous to man are the ones that are the most difficult to pick up on a Geiger counter. So uh, if you see the levels like this, which is probably picking up, if I'm not mistaken, in the manual it said cesium 134, 137. If you're seeing that kind of level here, um, feel safe in assuming that uh, there's probably hundreds of other radioactive isotopes. They may not be in the same concentration that this is picking up, this one here, but needless to say, uh, you know, you're not, you're not getting the full picture when I just read one thing. There's a lot more here. Okay, I'm gonna end this here. Uh, he's about to get hard at it, and I, I, uh, I just want to upload one more video here. And as I mentioned before, there's a donate button if you guys want to.